Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Mage. Dear students, here is one simple problem which might trouble you if you don't know like uh, how to approximate it. So let's try this problem and see how to do the approximation. So here we have a ring of mass small m is in level with top of the smooth pulley B. When it is suddenly released, if H is the distance by which the ring moves down a smooth vertical pole before coming to rest for the first time, then uh, it's given that L is the horizontal distance between the initial position of the ring and the pulley. Find approximately the condition for which the ring will slide down even when less in weight than the weight of the block c of mass capital m so according to our description here we have this ring initially here then when we release this its initial velocity would be zero okay then it will come here traveling at distance h and here final velocity is zero so our question is uh, we need to find out the approximate condition for which this kind of event will occur like this body will go down okay now how do we even solve this we will apply work energy theorem so according to work energy theorem we know that change in kinetic energy equals work done by all the forces okay so here uh, initially it is having zero velocity so zero kinetic energy final velocity is also zero so total change in kinetic energy turns out to be zero then work done on our system on our system i am considering this mass along with capital m both of them together is my system then tension in the wire becomes internal to my system okay then we will consider here that mg will go down right so work done by gravity on this is small mgh okay and this will go up and this goes up by a distance y and i hope you can easily recognize that y distance uh, from this uh, so-called triangle formed here so we will first write this one as minus of mg y y is the distance traveled by block c okay now how much is this y this is uh, like h squared plus l squared minus of l is going to be y i hope you can easily observe that from the constraint here okay so using that here we'll have small m times of h being equal to capital m times of y which is root of h squared plus l squared minus of l this is what we have now our story is uh, like we need to find the approximate condition right so small m by capital m i'll be writing it as root of h squared plus l squared minus of l whole thing divided by h okay so here what is so special you know when we think of small m even if it is really really small okay let's say very very small when compared to capital m even then this event should occur okay and we need to derive some condition out of it so with this being said we can write that small m by capital m is much much less than one now using that condition here we can conclude that our condition that h squared plus l squared this minus of l should be much much smaller than h okay now we will use approximations as we usually do okay so we will take l outside from this then it becomes like h squared by l squared plus one whole power one by two minus of l much much lesser than h okay now here is the important step okay we usually do like l we'll take it common let's say it is like h squared plus l squared plus one whole power one by two minus of one is much much smaller than h right now usually we'll do binomial approximation like one plus x when uh, whole power n equals 1 plus nx when x is much much smaller than 1 this we know but if we use that here okay you'll see that uh, our terms will vanish okay so here i'll show you quickly that l 
we have 2 h squared by 2 l squared let me call this as equation 1 okay so h squared by 2 plus 1 okay i'm using first order approximation minus 1 then we have uh, h here so these two getting cancelled out so we have l and h squared by 2 l squared is much much less than h and with this we lose the condition which is required because see in the options they have given l cube and all but we are not having l cube here so definitely that is not the good approximation okay so we have to not good approximation right so we will have to fine tune it okay so for that we will take higher order terms so i'll take one more higher order one more term okay so l we have already so using one again back to equation one so we have one plus h squared by l squared whole power one by two then minus one much much less than h okay see we have this one plus x whole power n its expansion is one plus nx and n of n minus one by two factorial times of x squared so on okay so i'll be taking one more additional term here okay if i use that here it is going to be l as it is 1 plus 1 by 2 h squared by l squared then i have to write plus i have to solve this n of n minus 1 by 2 so it is half of half minus 1 by 2 factorial right so that turns out to be like uh, minus 1 by 8 just simplify this this is minus half and we have this so i'll write here minus 1 by 8 and i have to write x squared our x is h squared by l squared right so i will write it as h power 4 by l power 4 minus 1 this is much much smaller than h now we can cancel this term and this term and i'll take the terms like h squared by h squared i'll take common okay so we'll have 1 by 2 l squared minus h squared by 8 l power 4 that is smaller than h right then we can cancel we can take even uh, 8 l power 4 common if i take 8 l power 4 i can write this as uh, okay you have to just simplify this now so one of the h term getting cancelled out one of the l term it goes like cube so we have h times 4 l squared minus of h squared that should be less than 8 l cube okay so this is the required condition and that's our option a okay so for those students who got stuck in this so i hope you got the solution thank you for watching